All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Uh, can everyone hear this? Yes. Hopefully, everyone had a good weekend because uh, I, I think uh, I finally came and I just had to buy some ice cream, uh, Intimates cookies. And uh, even though I'm still keeping the calories, you know, below what it's supposed to be, where it's 1,800, 2,100 calories, depending on whether I work out or not, right, to keep the weight loss going. Yeah, I definitely noticed those extra shot of carbs, even though I eat it like several hours before I actually sleep, it's affecting my sleep cycle already because like I only get like six, five hours of sleep and I just can't go back to bed because like too much energy. It's like, it's like, it like, it, it's, de it's definitely because the human body is so efficient in generating energy that it, you actually don't need to eat that much, which is ridiculous because like you get so hungry, right? And it's just like annoying. So anyway, hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Just a little groggy, but I'm all right. I mean, I still have too much energy in me. I've been playing my Hades stars, so I have it actually open in the background in case uh, we need to work on something. It's a very fun game. You know, I'm, I'm getting away from you know, the mobile game and stuff, and then now uh, now I can just play a game where I can play as little as much as I want, no timers, really. And I'll make sure all my video games have the same thing. You know, you, know, you have to be on at this time to get the best reward. I really hate that. Uh, so I definitely gotta make it more casual friendly, um, you know, because because I don't wanna like compartmentalize my life around in in the before case Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, right? F like f four four p.m. EST, I have to get my reward because I'm in you know New York City for Squad Arena, and then five o'clock I have to get my Fleet Arena, and it's just like okay, it's like I hate that, you know. It's like, okay, what if I wanted to learn to drive? Now I don't have to worry about my stupid Star Wars Galaxy Heroes thing. So, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. And then also this game, this Hades Star... Actually, let me show you. This Hades Star game is great. And the best part is, because there's actually some downtime because of the way I play, uh, I guess we could just go on Steam. Uh, I actually realized, yeah, I could work on the game in between downtimes. Like, I don't usually do that. Uh, so it's a very simplistic game. It looks really cool. Um, the icons are actually very simple, but they actually look pretty good. So uh, yeah, it's basically uh, it's a, it's it's a surprisingly good casual slash hardcore, you know, very simplified four X strategy game. It's definitely not going to be nearly as complicated as like Clash of Clans, which is basically the Unity asset game I'm going to come out with next. Um, actually. Uh, Clash of Clans daily revenue. How much revenue was that game making? 3.9 million a day. Oh my god. No wonder everyone's making that asset. Jesus Christ. Wow, 42% of Supercell's total revenue is Clash of Clans. I wonder how um, I wonder how much Clash Royale makes for them. Yeah, this is the site, Think Gaming. Uh, let's see, daily estimate. Hmm. Yeah, they have a pretty different number here. It's still, I would love to make a million dollars, a little under a million dollars a day, even if it's gross revenue. I mean, maybe I have to pay... It's a mobile game, right? So servers, programmers. Yeah, your your daily expenses would probably be at most like a hundred grand a day. Like this is basically pure fucking profit for Supercell. So um, yeah, but yeah. Anyway, when you make a game like that, uh, that's also why I need to play more video games. So like, because you know, now I have to actually start thinking about. Let me refresh this just in case. Start thinking about um, you know how I want to design my game. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so one of the things I want to talk about today, again, is I think I really do have to do some sort of fundamental video. Like, I'm constantly seeing people come complaining about not making any money, their stacks are growing or not making it. It's like, I don't get too, too many personal details, but people have been doing this shit for fucking years. Why are they not making as much money as me? Or at least some kind of fraction of it. And, like, I'm just getting pissed about it. It's like, well, like what are you doing? So... I don't know. Even if I spilled everything out, I just don't. I, I just don't understand. I just don't fucking understand. So we'll see. And now it's the thing, uh, bull run. So I'm just gonna. I'm, I think what I'll do is, 
assuming there's nothing too crazy happening tomorrow, I think maybe I'll spend tomorrow um, doing a pure how-to video. No real news, though I could probably go over it a little bit just to, uh, oh yeah, this, for some, uh, see, Google already knows I'm Chinese, so it's like giving me Chinese ads, uh, even though I got an Australian proxy on. Uh, you know, like I'll just tell people what I do and then you just do what I do. And then, you know, we'll do time management and all that shit. Because again, apparently people still don't fucking get it and I'm just getting annoyed with this. So, <clears throat> all right. Because uh, I'm not going to teach how to install a well because that's the most annoying part. But that's also the part that's not killing people. It's actually the money management part. So, all right. So anyway, so I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. Today I'll just do the news. Because I wasn't even planning to do a teaching video, so I want at least a day to do it, and then we'll see. All right, so anyway, May 17th to 20. Oh, yeah, so last week it's finalizing down at 15. So after a big spike, everyone just. See, the people really are sheep. Like, the media hypes it up so that everybody gets interested. Once the media stops hyping it up, then all of a sudden they just don't care. It's like, you know, luckily these 15% of the people are like, hey, this cryptocurrency shit might actually solve my problem. Um. I just realized, did I send out any of my money today? Oh, yes, I did, actually. Actually, I have to record. Uh, yeah, I think this will... You know what? Let's delete these numbers. All right. Cause, uh, let's see. Because I do keep track of my, my stack growth. I just do it just as a personal measure because I need to constantly measure my numbers. 204, 2... Okay, good enough. Okay, so uh, where were we? Um, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, so it's like you know, it's like the pe the people are so easily manipulated. And it's frustrating because it's like you know, it ca it causes so many problems, right? Actually, one of the reasons why I'm got Ann Coulter's thing up is because she's been making the headlines uh, since yesterday, uh, as bashing the shit out of Trump for being stupid. So again, I curious to know what the Nick Fuentes Gorber uprising takes going to be on this one. All right, so yeah, 15. Um, I got my keyboard on Wednesday. Actually, ever since I uninstalled BlueStacks, my keyboard problem has stopped, so it's definitely BlueStacks. However, I'm using a generic Microsoft keyboard with no drivers, so I bought a Logitech, uh, ba a basic keyboard, and um, that's obviously going to come with drivers, so that probably will solve the problem of BlueStacks if I ever need to use BlueStacks. All right, so let's see. Bitcoin down 65.5%. Toy Farm volume is 111 billion. So it looks like uh, everyone's just like, ah, yeah, screw this. 87.61. That kind of sucks. 42.91 for Litecoin. Not making enough. Dogcoin, 311.8 million market cap. Um, let's see. Hive. What's Hive doing? Okay. Hive, uh, 27 cents, still continues to decline. So it looks like overall, so the rich people are definitely not buying crypto and the normies, they thought it was gonna go to like 20 grand cause they were reading all the stupid shit in the media. So they're probably dumping their crypto. Uh, cause again, I don't see anything fundamentally different. Uh, Steam, Steam is at a little under 20 cents, so not too bad. Steam has really been a huge asshole lately. So now I have to use like these weird exchanges to get rid of my Steam. Uh, I mean, I'm still going to keep my Steam, all right, because it's an income producing asset. But, you know, Justin Sun's really being a prick about it. The markets definitely look true neutral. So Amazon's down, Facebook's up. I mean, Amazon's going to go down because of Facebook. So, um, yeah. Uh, uh, Remel, same thing, uh, Microsoft. Yeah, so pretty much everything in the house RF. So Regis Financial, yeah, so my shit's doing pretty well, stock market-wise. So eventually this will go back up. Uh, insurers, I, payment recalibration, what's the headline say? As coronavirus fuel shift to telehealth. What does this mean? All right, we'll take a look. Uh, why streaming platforms see big money in podcasts? Yeah, because I love podcasts. That's all I do. In fact, when I listen to Twitch, that's what I do. I listen to Twitch. I don't watch Twitch. You know, I'm playing my Hades Star game or I'm working on my video game or, or both. So I'm doing three things at once. Student housing amid virus count on getting heads. And I don't know what that is. Five tips. Some Chinese ad again. 
Uh, over 4 million Americans now skipping their mortgage payments. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, what does predicted say? Yeah, so Trump is just getting his ass handed to him in the polls and will continue to get his ass handed to him. Right, he's actually, he's literally losing to some guy who, I don't want to repeat it, but he actually said, I mean, he basically meant to say blacks who vote for Trump are race traitors, right? You know, I'm trying to, I'm rephrasing the actual phrase, so I don't say it. And then uh, Trump is stupid. Like, I don't know how I feel about it, but he actually has on the Donald Trump store that Joe Biden phrase. It's like, <sighs> ah. And yeah, I mean, this is actually a problem. Like, Trump might actually lose the election. Like, if things keep going the way that he does, he's actually going to lose. And he has a much better position than Obama did, which makes this even more laughably uh, bad. <sighs> which is bad for you and me. Because, you know, it's going to fuck up the markets, right? Because there's going to be a change, right? And then, like, they're probably going to be pretty hostile towards cryptocurrency. Like, that's the other problem. Use a coronavirus line or create a new plan for a health industry, blah, blah, blah. In response to coronavirus, telehealth expenses. At least for now, those expenses have not weighed the savings from a drop in lucky procedure. Now, is intended the largest four prime national players to weather depending on the strong balance. You however, one of the top one in the industry is still likely to see why it should change after the aftermath of, aftermath of blah, blah, blah. There's still a number of questions given that a shock has happened in the system. So, I note that 36 blue color insurers are really enough for. Kind of executive experience of uh, Okay, I don't want to read this whole thing. All right, this this article just seems stupid. It's just like, yeah, we're gonna change. It's everything's gonna go online. Like, okay, that's not real. You don't need to devote the whole thing to it. Uh oh shit! Is today Memorial Day? Wait a minute! I just realized is today Memorial Day. Oh. Is today a holiday? <laughs> today is Memorial Day. <laughs> I should be not. I should not be doing the fucking video then. Ah, god damn it. Ah, all right. Yeah, no wonder everything's dead. I was like wondering. Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, all right. Well, I guess it's gonna be. Uh, all right. I guess we'll just do a very quick video then. JFC coins at eight to nine. Where are we at? It's Twelve minutes. I see. I'm not. In a, I'm not in the. Yeah, it's already twelve and a half minutes. So I already rambled too much. So we'll we'll save tomorrow for the thing. So tomorrow, unless there's something big. Uh, so maybe I have to push it to Wednesday, right? Because I thought today was supposed to be a news day. Because I want the first video of this week to be a news day, but today's not a news day. It's Memorial Day. Yeah, anyway, JFC's at eight to nine. 404 is down to 1 to 2. I mean, at this point, everyone's just dumped because of the swap. So there is just going to be total chaos in the meantime. 2 by 2 is doing pretty well. 67 to 69. Compound coin, 5200 to 6100. Uh, oh, shit. Thank you to the, I guess, two people that have subscribed, at least for now. Um, welcome, welcome. Uh... All right, let's see. Nothing. Let's see what it shows. I don't know. We'll boom after the 2020 crisis and so will Bitcoin. Yeah. Wow, well, Forbes is actually running a positive story. What a shock. Because uh, normally they run bad news. Early Bitcoin miner calls Craig a fraud through his own addresses. Yeah, I mean, we all know Craig writes a fraud, but people still keep giving him attention. As Bitcoin falls at two week lows, small weeks, uh, do, 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 do. spiritual reflection, Bitcoin having a stock issue. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing here. Uh, so you suggested I was Bitcoin career is behind bar. Okay, Ripple confirmed expansion of Ripple settlement. Okay, four chair triggers third tenth in, in St. Pump dump. <laughs> so four chairs is a place to be to, to go where you want to scam people. Now it looks like Ripple says new platform designed to let at Ripple be their own. First of all, being your own bank doesn't matter because it's still a centralized platform. All that has to happen is for assholes like Justin Stun and the Steam Network to yoink all your money and ban your account. So it's like, it's pointless. Now, I'm glad Ripple's still there, but I recognize it for what it is. It's a centralized crypto cryptocurrency, you know? Uh, you can't go into the open market and just buy and sell it and then just not worry about getting fucked, right? You know, censorship. 
Market analysis says this little, little crypto will soar 700% to, oh God, uh, 2 billion and now revealed that are now holding huge amounts of the Ethereum. Oh, so the Lost guys are into Ethereum. Well, I'm glad they're doing pretty well. I guess they're not as smart as uh, Mark Fuckerberg, but, you know, they're smart enough, right? I mean, they run, uh, they run Gemini and all that other cryptocurrency shit, so... You know, and that requires computer programming, or at least you know somebody who does computer programming, like me, right? And I'm not very good at coding either, you know? But I do like being being able to work on the game, so, you know, because I gotta keep my coding. Like, it's so hard to get the momentum going for programming, so that's why I gotta dedicate, you know, basically the rest of my life to keep working at it, so that eventually in 10, 20 years, I'll actually be really good at it. Even though I probably won't be doing too much coding as time goes on, because you know, just get rich, get more successful, famous, blah, blah, blah. Got to do other shit. I still want to be able to know how to how to code and then, you know, know who to hire, right? You know, because I can't code everything. What I can do is figure out, okay, I know what works and what doesn't. So I got to find somebody who also knows the same thing and then they actually go do it, right? Reckful, uh said that he has 31 employees working on Everland, his MMO 2D sprite game. Uh, and they're using the Unity engine too as well. Uh, and like five or six of them are full-time employees, I think, and then the rest are outsourcers. So he's got like five artists. He's got, and I forgot the others. It's some, one, some does servers, others do uh, other, like the actual programming, other, like I forgot what he, I forgot how he broke it down. Uh, but he's got a crew going, right? And eventually I'll have my own crew. Though in my case, I'll still be one guy. So I'll likely just be using the uh, city building kit guys and just simply hire them to just do all my problems, including the bug fixing. Because at some point, I'm just not going to be able to figure out how to fix the damn bug. And I just don't want to. So I'll just, I'd rather just pay them 50, 100, 150 bucks or whatever they charge an hour and then just have them fucking fix that shit. And I'm sure they'll fix it in like 10 minutes. So that's, that's worth it to me because I don't want my stupid game to work. Right, because like I got really annoyed when when I was prototyping my uh, tower defense game, and then what happened was because I was adding more units and more towers and like an actual structure, I wound into a random little bug, right, where it was like, it wasn't using the neutronium, which is like the premium currency that you earn, and that's what's going to be used for the microtransactions. It was working before, but because I added too many units, because the fucking asset guy just he's an okay he's a good coder but the problem is he you know he's i guess he's literally just one guy so he, he didn't think of that and then the fucking thing broke and of course i got the stupid null reference exception so it's like okay and it's like yeah whatever so i'm hoping the city building dev kit will be uh much more workable so and less bug free Anyway, yeah, so Trump's already sliding. Uh, let's see, what does this... Uh... Oh yeah, by the way, they were doing Trump is morbidly obese. Yeah, he's actually gaining a lot of weight. He has to be very careful. Like, he, he's going to have a real lot of problems with his health. About my gate towers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, is he repeating himself here? Yeah, so he, so Trump can't run on any of the issues that he ran on. So he's just doing the simple, ah, uh, geez, how aggravating. Yeah. Let's see. And then Ad Coulter's tearing him a new one, so. Oh god. This Memorial Day we are gather another Okay, well I said the right day. They're still starting to cash your uh character uh, okay. Uh I'm admit Cobo uh Cobo's daughter is actually pretty good looking. I would date her. I think probably is but I really want Andrew Cuomo as like a brother in law. Like really if I were to take it all the way to marriage, it's like eh. Well, I mean, I guess of all the Democrats, he is actually pretty reasonable. He, he just happens to be a little too... He's he, he's a little too over-reliant on scientists and fear. So, like, he literally just believes everything they say without going, hey, maybe these scientists are wrong. Like, look at this other science that contradicts these people. Jones Beach is beautiful, blah, 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 blah. Together, this business community. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, because I just realized, wait, what if she's not eight, uh, like, she, what if she's under 18, and I'm like, uh-oh, I might be in trouble. <laughs> I assume she was graduating from college. The need, the needs right now are very simple. New Yorkers need food, shelter, if you, oh, this is old, so blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. Uh, seven, seven, six, seven. Oh, wow, Mid-Hudson? Wait, where, where, which one's Mid-Hudson? That's the area right above the Bronx. So that's six of seven. Long Island's at five of seven. Yeah, that makes sense because Long Island's more spread out. So that makes more sense. And of course, New York City is actually approaching the 30% mark, six of seven. So New York City, within the next, I would say, 14 days for sure, will hit six of seven percent because it's getting warmer. In fact, I can already feel the humidity. Uh, it's expected. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Hey, Coulter, new cove is posted. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Someone asked Joe Biden for his VP shortlist. You name all the. Okay. Uh, blah, blah. All right. So I retweeted like the last stuff. So basically, um, people like the President of the United States, there's Columbia. I mean, Columbia Bugle has always been definitely America first, but he definitely knows not to attack other Republicans. So he's actually pretty cool like that. And then, of course, he's like, people pushing to rebuild me want to do a bit more research on this guy. And then and I think the quote retweet is this, it never ends, Tuber, Tommy Tuberville is blah, 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 never Trumper, and he's also uh, in legal with Mark Fuckerberg's open border shit, and blah, 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 blah. So uh, Trump's put, is still promoting these people, it's like, what's wrong with this guy? It's like, you know, and then, you know, let's see, Tommy Tuberville's future chief of staff support the 2014 Obama immigration amnesty bill. LOL, this is who Trump endorsed. No wonder Ann Coulter is furious. Yeah, so it's just going to continue on, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, not going to go through the whole thing. So basically, uh, I got a lot of idiot, you know, boomers just still just getting mad at Ann Coulter. It's like, it really, like, there really are a lot of cult like idiots in the, you know, MAGA movement, right? And it's like, Trump can do no wrong. And then they sit on sidelines as basically, um, you know, white genocide continues, degeneracy just goes out, spirals out of control, and everyone's on drugs. Yeah, but Trump can do no wrong. And then and then this fucking shit happens. <sighs> it's like, oh, man. So, you know, it's too bad. It's too bad. So, all right, well, nah, that's just how it goes. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get used to the idea of a President Joe Biden. I mean, I don't know. It's going to be pretty shitty, right? Everyone's going to think we're fucking led by a brain dead moron that could actually put us at risk it sure is i payment recalibration recalibration as oh wait we read this article before yeah this was a bullshit article um i don't know we didn't really go over much so god this this was actually a pointless video unfortunately but i rambled too much to start doing uh you know proof of stake so all right, uh, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna have to edit this video out too, just to be safe. Um, so anyway, if you like what you saw, or it or hurt, hit like button, follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, so we can continue um, drawing this channel. All right, so I'm still kind of tired. I kind of want to be playing more of my Hades Star stuff, so. Uh, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Assuming there's not too much crazy stuff with the news. See, the problem is there's got to be the news tomorrow. Because I thought today was the news, but it wasn't. It's Memorial Day. Um, I don't know. But if not tomorrow, definitely Wednesday. I'll, I mean, again, it, as long as nothing too crazy happens, right? But I got to do the how-to video. Or maybe I will just skip. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Maybe I will skip tomorrow's video. It's possible I could combine both videos tomorrow, but it's going to be a very long video, so I don't know. I'll, I'll have to make a decision, but we'll see. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. I will see you all tomorrow's video. It might be news or it might be the how-to video. Because, again, it seems like people really need to learn this. It's like, like people have been mining this, these coins for fucking years. Like, there's, there's no excuse for why you're still not making... I'm not saying you should be making 100 bucks a day because even I don't make 100 bucks a day, but you should have a strong foundation at this point because it's less about the money and more about the time, right? 
you know. So, but if you're only putting in like ten cents, well, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen in two, three years? Ten cents grows into you know a dollar, which is fantastic because you made a one thousand percent return. Right, but that's the problem. You turned ten cents into a dollar. Why didn't you put in more money and then take five hundred dollars and turn into ten x five thousand dollars? And then you would be making like five, ten, fifteen bucks a day. It's like what what what's the matter with you? All right, you know any anyone can do that actually, believe it or not. It doesn't have to be all at once, but you have to do it because that's what I did. And then when I realized that eight hundred eight coin was actually legitimate right even though it was even though i didn't know at the time it was poorly run by you know stupid asshole uh mr eggman you know i you know i still kept working my acting job i still kept you know taking my sag checks you know after taxes and withholding i put it into crypto which i then immediately bought more 808 coin right because i was like hey it's making me 10 15 bucks a week this is awesome this is this is exactly what god wanted me to do okay now i want 30 bucks a week now i want 50 bucks a week and eventually it got so the the compounding got spiraled out of control so much because i was putting in so much money too uh, in addition to self compounding, right? I did a combination of like a hundred percent, meaning I didn't sell for the week to like, you know, 10, 15, 30%, right? And I looked at the charts to buy low and, you know, so I could stake higher kind of this thing. And I was like, hey, this thing makes more money in seven days on average than I do an entire week doing acting. I don't have to do acting anymore. I still remember the last, that last day of my acting job, you know, it was like, I think it was for elementary, and we were filming at a um, those rent a garage store rent rent to storage kind of things like Manhattan storage. If you live in New York City, you see ads for mini mini storage, right? Or mini storage facility, which actually makes a lot of money in real estate. Apparently, um, I don't. They say it's recession proof. I'm gonna have to look a little more into that. I could see it though, and you know, uh, I guess the crime scene is. I don't know, I guess they were investing in some criminal that like was storing illegal shit in the mini storage. So that's where we were filming. Yeah, I remember one of the, uh, the, the one that does hair and makeup. I definitely felt like she definitely wanted me to ask her out on a date. The problem is another guy there. So I was like, eh, I don't know, it's only last day. Yeah, but she was really cute though. So yeah, but that's just how it goes. So anyway. I don't know. After after this coronavirus stuff uh, crap ends, I'm never gonna go back to acting just for the hell of it. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a little extra money too, because obviously I still haven't actually converted crypto into fiat. I mean, especially after this, like I, I want to sell every Litecoin in for what is it, forty three dollars? Well, it's actually less than that now, forty two dollars ninety one. Like, come on. Believe it or not, I'd rather keep my crypto than just do some acting work, you know. So, I mean, I don't have to do it, but, yeah, you know, it's just like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to get out of the house, get some free food, hang out with people, see see what was up, you know, what was up with, you know, all my acting was. And I know they still do it, so they'll be like, hey, Jason, Johnson, where the hell have you been? It's been years. Like, yeah, I went off and got rich off of Bitcoin. Yeah, that's, they're probably going to get kind of, like, upset to hear that, but, you know, it's all right. Yeah, it's like, hey, you know, I started doing this shit, so can you, you know. Anybody can do what I did, right? I didn't do shit. Actually, I did do stuff, right? I used I used this. Anyway, we'll talk about that tomorrow or Wednesday for sure when I teach, so. Enjoy your day or night. I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Jensen Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and, oh, yeah, when I make that video, I'm going to pin it to these pages. So there's going to be no excuse. It's going to be no fucking excuse. It's like, 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 uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to just make this a thumbnail because um, if Trump doesn't fucking get his act together and also watch his health too, because his, his, he's gaining too much weight. His health is actually a threat to us all. It's like he needs to be careful. Right, because he's gonna get like heart attack, and then you know, and then you know what's gonna happen, right? Or it's like it's really bad, right? You know, he's gonna get heart disease, right? As much as I find Trump irritating, I do need him back in the fucking White House this this year, right? Get and get reelected. So I don't know. We'll have to see. And because of coronavirus, there's the perfect excuse to not have debates, right? Because oh, that's my Hades star, right? 
Joe Biden's greatest weakness is being out in public. That's why you don't see him out much. That's why he's not doing any, any interviews, unless he has to do interviews. Because every time he goes on an interview, he keeps screwing it up, right? And despite all that, he is... Where, where, where is predicted? He's, he's actually gaining on Trump. Like, this is just how fucking retarded this country is. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. See you all tomorrow. Thanks.